I print my work with Caligo Safe Wash inks, which are high quality oil based relief inks. Thanks to special formula, they can be washed away with soap and water, making them really convenient to use. You don't have to deal with solvent fumes when cleaning your tools after printmaking session. Inks are highly pigmented and light fast, making artwork printed with them archival. Individual pigments mix beautifully together, which lets me achieve vibrant and rich colors. I have tried water-based inks beforehand, but they didn't work well for me because of the rapid drying. When doing a multi-block print, it's essential for me to create a pleasing, harmonious color palette. I like to create color palettes in Photoshop for future reference. It lets me get a picture of how particular colors will work with my design if they suit its atmosphere and theme. Moreover, I can check if my chosen colors work well together. I create a digital palette with color samples in Photoshop. I often add extender to my inks, which makes them more transparent. I try to simulate this effect in Photoshop, adjusting layer opacity. Then I overlay colors to simulate the effect of transparent ink printed in layers. Colors printed that way affect each other, so it's safer to print similar colors onto each other than colors which are opposite on the color wheel, which might result in unpleasant muddy colors. After creating my palette digitally, I go to printing house, where I get it printed professionally onto satin photo paper. I keep my palette always at hand while printing. I start with the lightest color. I don't use white because it can make colors look chalky and less vibrant. For this particular print, I'm using magenta, cyan blue and black that together with primary yellow create CMYK color palette which gives you the most vibrant and clear color mixtures and lets you arrive at any color you want. I mean, there might be colors you will have problems achieving with this palette, but it's the best primary color palette for printmaking in my opinion. After mixing my inks, I compare them with my samples. I continue to work on my mixture until I arrive at the color best resembling the sample. Next I check how my mixed color will look when printed onto a paper I'm going to print my final work onto. I ink up a tiny linoleum block and print it onto paper. It's a useful additional step to take when you are printing onto warm toned papers because colors might look different when printed onto them. Then I compare my print with the sample and modulate ink color further to arrive at the color I'm pleased with. Next I add extender to my colors and adjust its percentage in the mixture so that it more or less matches the opacity of my sample. After completing this process for all of my pictures, I print them onto each other to see how they will work in my final print. I do my test prints on the same paper that I'm planning to use for the final edition. Sometimes I use cheaper, stark white Japanese paper called Masa. I do it only occasionally because colors printed onto it differ from the ones printed onto more natural toned papers. This might be a slight difference, but I pay a lot of attention to detail. My favorite printmaking papers for both test prints and final work are warm toned Shiramin, Kitakata and Okavara. They are resilient papers of archival quality. When I'm done with color mixing, I use printer roller to get my mixtures onto linoleum block. I prefer hard rubber rollers, which are great for printing details. I use palette knife to gently spread ink onto my glass palette. Then I move my roller in one direction until I get even coverage. It's important to pay attention to the amount of ink you have on your roller. It shouldn't be too thick, otherwise you might risk ink getting in the finest lines of the carved block. It's better to put a few thin layers instead. It's a good practice to use a roller which is a bit wider than your linoleum block. This ensures you won't get any anesthetic marks which might be created by roller edge. When printing, don't let any unwanted stuff like dried ink get onto your roller, because it might ruin your print. When printing multi-block lino cuts, it's really important to take care of perfect registration. This will ensure you won't get any misalignment and your work will look more sharp and professional. 
misaligning your plates might be a part of your more experimental artistic endeavors. It looks great when done on purpose and not because of pure registration. To get exact registration, I use turns, burden, pins and tabs. I attach pins to wooden plate of my press with a washi tape. I use washi tape to attach pins to my printmaking paper too. I prefer this tape because it doesn't damage paper, tearing it down or leaving some glue traces. I print onto paper format which is always bigger than the linoleum block. I always ensure the paper I'm going to print my work onto is of a bigger size than the linoleum block. This creates a nice border around my artwork which looks aesthetically pleasing to me. When printing multi-block projects, I stick my digital LinoCut project printed out on a regular printer onto a press plate. When working on a project in Photoshop, I mark where each individual block should go. This applies only to projects where blocks are of different size. If the blocks are of the same size, I just use pencil to mark where they should go to ensure good registration. It's a good practice to let ink dry before consecutive layers, but in case of a test print, I like to print all layers in one session. I know this process seems tedious, but trust me, it's worth trying if you like to work as methodically as I am. I used to print my work by hand, but a few months ago I purchased leather printing press from Ritualist Press. It facilitated my printmaking process tremendously. Now I can work faster and more effective. When printing with press I get high quality crisp prints and I'm able to print onto thicker paper, which was really hard when I used barn and spoon to print with. My press is easy and convenient to use. Printing takes a lot less time and effort so that I can create more work in less time.